Let's talk about the Day of Atonement. Is atonement becoming at one? When we look at the use of the English word atonement, we might split it into at one meant. And of course, this could be treated as carrying a particular meaning behind it. Maybe the purpose or the foreshadowing of the Day of Atonement is to become at one, at one meant. So it is true that we could look at this English word atonement and think maybe it does have something to do with becoming at one. The question is, for what reason are we looking at an English translation? Whenever we're looking at, say, an English version of Leviticus 16, the primary passage regarding the Day of Atonement, what is the reason for looking at an English translation? It's probably because we want to know the meaning of the Hebrew. We are probably looking at an English translation because we want to know what the Hebrew says what the meaning of those Hebrew words are, approximately, because no translation is perfect. Anytime we're going from one language to another, not all of the words are going to exactly represent one another. There's not always that exact meaning carried by some other word in some other language. So we have this word atonement. And if we are going to derive the meaning of being at one, from this and derive some type of theological belief based upon that, then it needs to be represented in the Hebrew. If this higher meaning of becoming at one only appears in the English, then we might want to rethink that belief. If it does not appear in the Hebrew, if it is not conveyed by the actual scripture, then it may not be something we should be deriving from it. Maybe we should be reconsidering it. So in looking at the Hebrew, the word translated as atonement comes from the Hebrew kafir. This is the verb that's translated as to atone. But this is not the only way it's used in the Hebrew. Let's look at some examples of this word being used and of words derived from it. Genesis 6.14, in regard to Noah's ark, Make for you ark, and you shall cover it from inside and from outside in covering. This is normally treated as him covering the ark in tar or in pitch. And there are two words I want to draw attention to in this verse. It says, and you shall cover. This is actually that same verb the verb normally translated as atone, at least in other contexts. So he is covering it from inside and from outside in covering. This word covering also is that same word. It's the word normally translated as atonement. And we might also consider Exodus 25.20. This is in reference to the Ark of the Covenant. And the cherubim shall be one's spreading wings to toward above, one's screening in their wings on the covering. So as you know, the lid on the Ark of the Covenant, the mercy seat as it's often called, has the cherubim on top of it, and they are spreading their wings out and covering in their wings. And it refers to this lid as the covering. This comes from that same word. It is related to the word used as atonement. So is this object a lid for the ark, a covering for the ark? Exodus 29:37. Seven days you shall cover on the altar, and you shall hallow it, and the altar shall be hallowed of hallows. Whenever the priesthood is being initiated and the tent of meeting, the tabernacle, is being established, offerings are performed to cover on the altar. Once again, this is the word normally translated as atonement. It might say, you shall atone on the altar. The altar is being atoned on, the altar is being made holy. 
However, does this mean that Aaron the priest is becoming at one with the altar, or becoming at one on the altar, or is the altar being covered over? Leviticus 16.20 And he shall finish from covering the hallowed, and tent of meeting, and the altar. This is from the passage about the Day of Atonement ritual. Aaron the high priest is finishing from covering the hallowed, the holy things, and the tent of meeting, and the altar. He is atoning for them, or covering them. Does that mean they are all becoming at one? Is Aaron becoming a unity with the hallowed, the tent of meeting, and the altar? Or are the hallowed things, the tent of meeting, and the altar all becoming one thing? Well, no, they're not. They are being covered over. And one final example, Leviticus 19.22. And the priest shall cover on him in ram of the guilt before Yahuwah on his wrongdoing, and he shall be pardoned. Is the priest becoming at one with the person that did the wrong, or is he covering over his wrongdoing? So even though we might look at the English word atonement and think something as a result of that, think that maybe it carries this meaning of becoming at one, the Hebrew word that it represents does not carry that meaning. It literally means to cover. And we saw it used in that way multiple times. For example, with Noah, we saw Noah's ark was commanded to be covered in a covering. It was not becoming at one in a becoming at one. Noah was commanded to cover it inside and out in some type of covering. And we also saw a related word being used in reference to the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant had a lid on it. It had a covering on it. It was not a becoming at one that was put on top of it. It was a lid a covering. And we saw it used in reference to covering over iniquity, causing cleansing and hallowing. And the priest was not becoming at one with the person that did the wrong. The priest was performing the ritual to cover over that person, to cover over that person and that person's wrongdoing. And we saw this with the priest covering over the altar the Ten of Meeting, and the Hallowed Articles. He was covering over them. He was cleansing them and hallowing them. They were not becoming one thing, and he was not becoming one thing with them. They were being hallowed. They were being covered over. Iniquities were being covered over. So this word that's normally translated as atonement, it does not actually mean becoming at one. It means covering. So when we look at the Day of Atonement, it is not a foreshadowing of a day of becoming at one. The Day of Atonement, more literally, is Day of Coverings. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out some of my other videos on other Torah issues, and be sure to stay in touch so we can continue this discussion. Thanks for watching. Remember the commands. Shalom.